you train your physical muscles so your body becomes and remains fit and healthy throughout life. You have a healthy relationship with alcohol and you eat well. You take your vitamins, you take your prep, and you take your medicine when you get sick. You even see a therapist to support your mental health. This is all fantastic, but how are you training your social health muscles? Yuma, and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe. I'm the loneliness guy, and this is Espresso 19. This is a mini podcast designed to give your mind, your heart, and your soul a quick connection boost as you, a beautiful gay man experiencing loneliness, go about your day. Let's get to it. Hello, YouTube. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for pressing play on this episode. I hope you're going really well wherever you are in the world. And this is a really important um, episode. This is a really important topic that I'm kind of beginning to weave into my work here at thelonelinessguide.com. So you're going to be starting to see a bit more of this social health and social well-being um, talk narrative being woven into my work here. Anyway, really glad that you're here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get settled for this really quick but important conversation. Thanks for being here. As with each key, this does not burn well. <laughs> As with each connection espresso, I want to first pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, past, present and emerging, and acknowledge them as the traditional custodians of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I want to extend that acknowledgement to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, I want to acknowledge you, dear espresso drinker, be you listening on the podcast or watching on YouTube. I want to recognise the courage you have shown in pressing play on this episode. Because let's be honest, you don't look for content on loneliness unless you recognise that you're feeling lonely. This is a really big step. And I want to say that I see you and I recognise your courage. I also know that you want to live well. You want to feel physically, mentally, and emotionally strong so you can live life on your terms and have the tools and support needed when life throws you one of its curveballs. This is really fantastic. Keep going because you're doing awesomely. But if you're not growing socially, you're not doing enough. Let's have a quick chat about your social health, wellness, and well-being. As distinct from your physical health and well-being and your mental health and well-being, which are more commonly understood, social health and well-being feels like a relatively new term that you're likely going to hear a lot more of. So, what is it? I'm going to defer to the ever-amazing Castley Killam, founder of Social Health Labs, for a pithy definition. She says... Social health is the dimension of well-being that comes from connection and community, whereas physical health is about our bodies and mental health is about our minds, social health is about our relationships. I'll put a link to Casley's work in the episode description, but social health is important because it helps you live longer and happier. The thoughts and feelings of loneliness can be taken as an indicator that you need to work on your social health. And I want to be clear, those thoughts and feelings of loneliness aren't harmless. Left unchecked, they will kill you. Now, we're all going to die, that's a given. And really, it's a cheery topic of conversation, isn't it? However, life is about choices that mean whether like that determine whether we get to that ultimate end quickly and how well we get there. Let's explore these stats. The late Dr. John Cacioppo of the University of Chicago published findings of a study on the effect that loneliness has on humans. The findings are a much publicized and much quoted study, which states that, you ready? Obesity reduces your longevity by 20%. Drinking reduces your longevity by 30%. Smoking, and we all know that smoking is really bad, 
by 50%. Loneliness? Loneliness reduces your longevity by 70, 70%. And you know how when you're experiencing loneliness, you can see everyone and everything as a threat? That's because you're in fight or flight. And when you're chronically in that mode, your loneliness, those thoughts and feelings of loneliness and being in that kind of heightened state of awareness where you're ready to kind of run or, or hide puts you at 30% greater risk of stroke and heart attack. And your loneliness left unchecked and untended to become chronic is a precipitant condition that puts you at higher risk of alcoholism and depression. Just let that sink in. Julie, uh, Dr. Julianne holt lundstad from Brigham Young University in the United States is doing further research into the importance of social health uh, for us humans. I've attached a link to a great TED talk she did a few years ago, which gives some really great insights into her work and the work done by her team. There's a whole lot in those last few minutes, isn't there? Those stats are really very sobering. And I can promise you that we'll be diving deeper into the issue of social health in future content at The Loneliness Guy. But for now, you might be asking yourself, well, Fel, that all sounds horrible. I'm listening, but how do I improve my social health? Well, my beautiful gay friend, I'm really glad you asked. Just like you make time in your day to move your body at the gym or going for a walk or doing yoga or going for a run or swimming, and just like you take time to care for your mind through meditation or journaling, you need to make time and stick to that time for connection. And by connection, I mean connection to self, to those most important to you and to your communities. You need to do connection. And you simply must begin to prioritize the time in your day, not your week, not every month or every year, but every day to do connection. It's important because the quality and the duration of your life depends on it. And just like you never skip leg day or you practice everything in moderation, including the practice of moderation, you simply can't skip social health day. And social health day is every day. Now, I can guide you to getting that connection that you need to improve your social health. And that, that guidance comes in the form of developing your connection plan as part of the connection starter course that I provide. All you need to do to get your connection plan is to take the first step and engage my services. There's a link in the episode description and all you need to do is tap your screen a few times and the rest we can do together. I know what it's like to be a gay man who experiences loneliness and I promise you that the sitting or in the discomfort of, of your loneliness for a few moments can bring such joy and connection afterwards even though it doesn't feel like that, but I've been where you are and I can serve and support you. I can guide you. So let's get you your connection plan and help you move through life in a more content way. That's it for this espresso. Be sure to check out all my work and services, destigmatizing loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally, for gay men like you through my website, thelonelinessguide.com. Remember, you're not meant to endure loneliness for long and you're worthy of receiving the same love and support you so freely give to others. And please like, comment and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone as a gay man experiencing loneliness. And if this episode inspired you, made you think or otherwise supported you, please tap the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy to help it reach more gay men. 
I thank you in advance for your generosity and support. Thank you so much for joining me for this espresso shot. Until next time, take care of yourself and start working those social muscles. Start flexing those muscles. Yada, and enjoy your day. Thank you, YouTube. I'll see you in the next episode. Remember, if you've got anything for me, like chuck it in the comments below. Um, and I'm just really glad that you're here. Thanks so much.